Hi, everybody. It's Lydia. I am coming on to you tonight. It's six o'clock in the evening. I'm cooking my uh, salmon for dinner and I've got 10 minutes, probably more like seven minutes on the timer. So I'm going to be really quick, but I thought I would make a quick video and continue to share. I, cr I created a, sorry about that. I created a um, video called a must read book for everyone. And I just um, bought it on audible um, last um, sat Sunday. And I listened to the whole thing on Sunday and Monday. I have a link in my description to Amazon for a paperback, a Kindle version and an Am um, audible version if you want to go straight to the book and find out the title there. So basically she talks about how to, it's Jesse, and she talks about how to flatten your insulin spikes in your body. And um, basically she talks about flattening the curve. So I'm going to take each one of the hacks that she talks about and I'm going to discuss them um, more in depth one by one so people can kind of understand, you know, what to do with the hacks. So I started doing them on, was it Sunday? I think I started on Monday and by Wednesday I had already dropped like five pounds on the scale. It was crazy. I was like, wow, I had a hard time, um, dropping weight that fast because I got sick and I wasn't, um, exercising as much. So my body was, you know, adding like a pound a day. Anyway, it was kind of irritating. I, I, I had lost 27 pounds and then I gained seven during my month, my three weeks of being sick. And then now I dropped five, like in three days. So I'm back to like two pounds away from my 27 pound weight loss. But by October 31st, because I'm doing her hacks, I'm hoping to get to 30 pounds because I like these benchmarks, you know, like 10 pounds a month. So I'm going to see what I can do for October. And then just, it's a journey. It's a, it's a lifestyle thing that I'm trying to learn. Um, so I'm not in a hurry, but I am on a hundred pound weight loss journey, hopefully in the year. All right. So hack number one is eat foods in the right order. That's what she talks about, Jesse. Eat foods in the right order. What does that mean? I'm going to let you get the book to learn all about the science, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing to eat the foods in the right order. This is uh, right here. It's some avocado. I made a, like a third of an avocado slices. And then I cut one Persian cucumber. Let me see if I can get that on video. One, cu one Persian cucumber. The Persian cucumbers are so much more crispy. They're so good. They're like small veggie chips. Not crisp, not, they're just crispy, crunchy -er than like an English cucumber that's really long. And then, you know, when you cut them, well, I guess you could cut them fat. Anyway, all right. So what does it mean to eat foods in the right order? She says, always eat some fiber before you start eating your meal. Okay. So fiber goes in your body first because that slows the insulin spike of whatever you're going to eat behind the fiber. Fiber. She says um, you can eat like a green salad with like a vinaigrette dressing um, or some cucumbers have fiber in them or avocado. Those are like the simple go-to veggies that I actually enjoy. And they're not so offensive. Like in the morning when I need to eat fiber before I start my breakfast, which for a lot of people might be kind of hard, chopping up some of these little tiny watery cucumbers, you know, is not difficult to eat in the morning because they're watery and they don't have like, they just have like a fresh flavor. They're not, it's not a flavor that is going to put it all over your mouth and your tongue. Cause you know, you might want to drink your coffee 
<clears throat> or whatever. So I am not, right now I'm not eating cucumbers first thing in the morning, but what I am doing first thing in the morning before I drink my coffee, because I like putting oat milk in my coffee and I have some right now that I need to use up. I might give that up for a nut milk, but oat milk has spikes your insulin. And so if you still want to eat things that spike your insulin, then she says you can drink a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And she mentioned some other vinegars, but you can do that first if you're going to eat something sweet or something that would normally spike your insulin, you know, even like an apple. So anyway, you can flatten the curve, slow the spike. If you take uh, like a tablespoon of with, oh, she says, don't take it straight, drink it with um, like eight ounces of water. And she does recommend a straw, which I wasn't doing before the book, but I decided to go ahead and just since I was going to do it on a regular basis now, because of her guidance, I am going, I am using a straw. So I drink that down, kind of get the straw towards the back of my throat and get the water and apple cider vinegar down first. Then I drink my coffee. And then in like an hour or something, I'm ready to make my savory breakfast. And I'll start off with some avocados because those are easy, you know, just to eat like a quarter of an avocado. Alexa, stop. My salmon's ready. So I'm going to cut this video short. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that to eat the foods in the right order, fiber is first. Then she says protein and fats. So I'm going to eat my salmon in my mouth first when I start to go into my salad because I'm going to put salmon on top of a mixed green salad for dinner. And then she said you, you can eat like a starchy item or bread or whatever, just make sure that you eat it last. Okay. So fiber, protein, fats, then um, carbohydrates and your starch. And then she says, if you want to eat dessert, eat dessert last, but with your meal. Some of these are combined hacks that I'm going to talk into, talk about more in, in one video, but I just wanted to show you how I'm training myself to eat my fiber first. And I'm usually doing that while I'm preparing like my main meal. Cause usually I just want to dive in and start eating whatever it is I'm making. It's not always going to be, you know, the fiber on the plate first. So anyway, this, this ensures that I get fiber in and my enzymes start to digest the fiber first. So then when I put the salmon on the stomach it's going to digest that next. And then by the time I eat the starch, she said that slows down the whole spike of insulin with the starch. And then the book is fabulous. I highly recommend it for everyone. I'm so excited. I like have like a new thing that kind of re re inspired me after my, you know, almost 120 days now that I've been in this journey and I keep loving learning new things that, you know, hopefully long term. I mean, I just, it's only been a week. Hasn't even been a week. It's been five days. So I look forward to seeing the results. Like if her book is legit long term and I just keep dropping weight, then I can't wait. I'm just going to share that because she, she says you can eat the dessert if you want to. You just have to eat it in the right order and then it won't have the bad effects. So. It's very interesting. I love the idea. And she's super cute. She's young. And she, if you want to find her on Instagram, you can follow her at Glucose Goddess. That's where she is. All right. Y'all have a nice evening. Talk to you later. See you in the morning. Bye.